Welcome YouTubers. This is my video on rigged mesh problems for Blender, Avastar, and Second Life. There are many different problems that may arise when we are creating rigged mesh in Blender for use in Second Life. This video is focusing on, the, on a couple of those frustrating problems that have a simple answer. Keep in mind that if you are giving a thumbs up or down, it is not about whether or not it's this video solves your particular problem. I have chosen to do this video as a slideshow to make this video useful for those that do not have the sense of hearing. I am also reading through the text for those that learn better by hearing and each slide is a step in the process to help those that learn better by seeing. Please be patient as the video plays out. To help you follow along, I am going to list the programs I'm using. I'm assuming that you are using Blender 2.6 or higher. I am using Blender 2.71 in this video. You will also need Avastar as this is the module that is creating this particular problem. If you are not using Avastar and are doing the rigging by hand, please see my other videos about fixing bones for rigged mesh uploads. The uploads into Second Life are being done in Firestorm 4.6.9.42974. On the next slide, I will show you an example of the issue we are working with for this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Twisted joints. As I have worked with Avastar and Blender as part of my pipeline for creations, I sometimes have to step away from a project, saving it for later. This was one such project. As you can see, when I tried to upload the mesh, the rigging it was twisted. You can usually see your mesh and rigging, or see if your mesh and rigging is working in the preview window of the upload window in Firestorm. I have text, uh, textures ticked here. I didn't save any textures with this file, so none appear here. Uh, they would have if I did. Skin weights, this applies the weights as if it were rigged or worn on an av avatar. And joints will show you, those blue lines, how the bones and armature look with your current weights and rigging set up. As you can see, this does not appear, appear correctly. If you look at these images, you can see what the results is when uploaded. The skirt is absolutely not looking like a skirt at all when worn. Even when everything seemed correct and just fine in Blender and everything was checked off in the exporter correctly when exporting. The solution to, the pro to this problem was simple but frustrating. As 90% of solution of all solutions, it comes down to something very simple but easily overlooked. Avastar has settings for both classic and fitted me rig mesh. It is very important that we select the correct SL rigging style. Selected, if we had that we have that selected before we export the file to Collada format. The mistake I keep kept making was that I that the file I was originally working with was saved as fitted mesh because another part that I had made was rigged as fit as me fitted mesh. I changed my mind on this skirt though because I didn't like the way that the mesh was moving with the with the rigging. So I changed it back to classic mesh and the classic bone settings, but what I failed to do right here was to change that rig that's SL rigging style. And that's where the problem came from. 
Now by simply changing that selection back to the classic mode in Blender, I was able to produce a rigged mesh for upload that sets on the joints without twisting, distorting, or deviating from the weights and setup that I had started with. If this does not correct your problem, you have a couple of other things that you can look at, a couple of other issues um, that you might want to consider that may be causing your issues. <clears throat> Ask yourself these questions. One of these, one of them might be the solution to your problem. Do you have all of the bones accounted for in your vertex groups for your mesh, even the ones that are empty? When you're in object mode in Blender and you have your mesh selected, are all of the locations and rotations set to zero or the same as the locations and rotations for your rigging? That's the origin of your geometry. Three, when you are exporting, are you selecting all the correct settings before hitting export? Four, have you unwrapped the UV map or created a UV map for your mesh before completing an export of the file? And lastly, the problem that I had, have you selected the correct SL rigging style based on the bones you were using in your vertex groups? Now this video was not intended to answer all of your questions or solve every problem. Its simple focus was on that one particular problem of the twisted rigging upon upload, to av upload when Avastar was used in Blender to create the rig mesh. As of the date and time of the completion of this video, there are also available to you a video for the list of classic bone weights necessary for your classic rig mesh. Um, you may also wish to look for information elsewhere on the following topics, fitted rig bone, fitted rigged bones, um, how to reset the origins of your geometry, unwrapping UV maps, how to rig your mesh, how to weight and weight transfer weights to your mesh, exporting to Collada formats for Second Life, and importing rigged mesh to Second Life. That's the end of my video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful.